All right, this is the Hemiway Zebra. It is a 750 watt rear hub motor. The chassis body actually is set up for mid drive, but this does not have a mid drive engine in it. There's the key, there's the actual battery latch that you have to pull. Front headlights, front fender. It does have locking front suspension if you want to lock out your front suspension. You have Tetro great brakes, seven speed, kind of a cheap bell, but hey, a bell is a bell, right? And comes with a rear rack, nice Hemiway deck, and rear light with reflectors. Hello and welcome to Random Things, this is Ty, and today we are going to unbox my buddy's Hemiway Zebra. Now this is a rear hub 750 watt motor with a 20 amp hour battery. So I guess compared to the old Hemiway, it's supposed to get uh, more miles on a single charge because it's a 20 amp hour battery. So about 40% more range. So I'm guessing the old battery is probably like a 13 amp hour battery. Um, so with this new big battery, you should be able to get 80 miles. But I'm guessing you're gonna have to do a little bit of pedaling and you're not really going that fast. Um, but that's for a later video. But for now, we're just gonna unbox this thing and check out what it's like. Now this box is 95 pounds, so I'm guessing um, it's mostly assembled and uh, Got a lot of stuff, but the bike is probably going to be about a 75 pound bike. So with that, let's get started. Ah, looks like the front wheel is not attached to the bike, so we have to attach that. Uh, just make sure you look and you don't cut the tire. Dun dun dun! There's the bike. Normally I like to preserve the box, but uh, it's too heavy a bike to lift out of there. Let me get the uh, the number three. So we can flip the bike over. I won't tighten everything down too tight. That way, mostly assembled. So the key's kind of zip tied to the cables up front. Fenders. I'm guessing there's a skewer in here somewhere. Box of bolts and nuts. We'll see. We'll see if I need that. Oh look! Nice hat as a gift, I guess. This is pretty common. They give you this uh, multi-tool, Rock Brothers. Your pedals. This looks like a derailleur guard. This looks like a front light. There's the skewer for that front tire. Your owner's manual. I'm guessing this is the charger. Your purse. Your charger. Okay, let's put all that back. Don't really need any of this stuff yet. So, put this side. Really, what I need right now is the skewers so that I can put the front tire together and put the front tire on. There's actually two springs on here, so be careful. Separate the springs. Looks like I got tangled up. There it goes. See, there's actually two springs. And typically this one is coned the other way. So it looks like a cone and the fatter part goes towards the outside. All right. So we're going to skewer it. I typically don't like skewering it 
with the brakes. So I like to have it on this side. All right. So again, the fatter part pointing out and the nut. Now I know I'm not a professional and some professional out there is probably going to tell me I'm doing it wrong. So if you know and see I did something wrong, please comment below so that uh, the next set of people will do it right. Thank you. Let me see if there's a way for me to flip this bike. Okay, I'm gonna lift this bike out. Okay, I'm gonna a couple of screws here for the uh, rear rack. We'll put the rear rack on. And then I'll worry about the fender later. Am I going to be lucky? Number threes again? Yes, but very tight. Probably easier if I move the seat, alright? I can see better. Like I said, usually it's the number three and the number five. If you have two of those, you're usually pretty golden. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. Ah, hold the brakes. All right, there we go. And squish the... Let's get it on that fender real fast so we don't squish the... This on so I don't sit it on the computer. One piece. There you go. This is probably the most heavy duty little plastic lock I've ever seen. really big piece of plastic I guess they really want this thing to be secure huh? so we're going to slide the brake in so the brake has a little piece of plastic that keeps the pads from kind of wearing on itself so you got to pull that out and then you just kind of slide the bike in with the brakes there just make sure you have your uh, loosen your your little quick release here and it should just drop in just like that and then once you get it dropped in check that it's kind of in there because you can always adjust this um, disc brake assembly so you just want to make sure that it's it's in there and want to make sure that the arm isn't bent but sounds outside of that you can adjust it You can hear it rubbing a little bit. So we can adjust that in a minute. But let's just get this wheel on so that I can put this bike back on its wheels again. Ah, now that sounds good. Yeah, no rubbing on the disc. This is the mount for the front light, so that's going to be the front of the fender. So we're going to slide it in this way. And then we'll secure these little 
these little attachments real fast and then we'll put the bike over and finish securing the fender. Alright. That's on. So let's flip the bike back over. Okay, so you have this screw. It's going to go through here. But at the same time, I believe the light also has to go through there. Hmm, here's the light. It's going to go in right there for this bolt. Maybe this is your little front reflector. And then there's the power, right? And a lot of these are color coded, so this is red. So that makes it easier. Red goes in the red, right? And the little arrow arrow and you just kind of snap it together there it goes just like that one thing to note is they have a torque setting um, this says one three newton meter um, I don't have a torque wrench so I just kind of go by feel just remember tight is tight too tight is broke. So this one goes here. It does not have a nut, so that means that it's threaded through the frame. I guess. So the frame itself is threaded. So it's these two screws. So right now, the chain is actually on the sixth gear, right? Um, sorry, second gear. Take it back. There's seven gears on this bike, and top one being the biggest one being first gear, seventh gear. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So it's on second gear. You will have to make sure you move the chain back to the seventh gear to see if this derailleur hits the derailleur guard. And that'll be very important because if you don't make sure that the chain, the derailleur can travel completely, um, if you ever get in a situation where you run out of batteries and you actually need to use all those gears, you're going to be hating life if your derailleur is not going to turn because I'm not going to shift um, your chain because it's hitting the derailleur guard right right there. Okay, so this is kind of like interesting. Um, the chassis is designed for either a hub drive, hub motor, or a mid-drive motor, even though there is no motor in there. It's just empty. And so I guess it's kind of like uh, efficient for a manufacturer to build one chassis that can be retrofitted for different types of engines. Um, this particular one is a hub drive engine, um, but at some point I'm guessing they're gonna use this frame for a mid-drive engine. Anyway, so pedals. Uh, there's a right and left pedal. Now remember the left pedal, right, is not righty tighty lefty loosey is actually lefty tighty so find your left tight pedal and make sure you screw it on the left way or else you're going to be spinning it forever so there's a little stamp right there it says l and r right so that's the right pedal left pedal left pedal it's Lefty tidy. So you don't need to actually tighten this really tight because as you pedal, the reason why it's reverse thread is as you pedal, it actually will tighten itself so it doesn't come out. And in case you forget, they actually printed it conveniently on the crank arm so that you know righty tidy on the right side, lefty tidy on the left side. 
guess that's also a good way to remember. Okay, so now we're going to do the fine tune adjustment to the handlebars, but this is time where you check all your wires. Obviously, this is and like this is this should be on this side of the gooseneck. So we're gonna remove the handlebars and uh, fix all that now that the bike can stand on its own two wheels. So if you look at the bike, it actually has um, some tick marks allow you to figure out how you want. But these tick marks help you center the handlebar to the gooseneck, right? Because that little hole right there you can see the emblem you want to see the emblem in the middle of the hole right that's how you know you center the goose bar goose, the handlebar now I want to put this this wire I want it on this side to give it more slack All right and this will give you more room when you turn your wheels the the brake cable isn't going to jam up now if you find your brake cable too loose you can always zip tie it to um, to something so once you unlock it you use the lock lever and it kind of falls out already on its own all right, and you just lock it back into place. You hear that click? There's your charging port for your charger. Water bottle. All right, let's take a look. Okay, so let's power this bad boy up. All right, 0.6 miles. Who was riding this thing? Okay, pedal assist, one, two, three, four, five, five modes. Now, typically, if you hold both the plus and bottom button down, it'll go into the root menu. Let's see if that works. It says something, but I don't know what that means. Hmm. Let's go back. Oh. What the... I'm guessing I probably should look at the manual. Okay, so in terms of the info button on the computer, you can hit the info button and it will cycle through. Let's see, trip, that's the today's trip, right? The how long you've been written, right? And then your max speed average speed and actual speed so you just kind of cycle through that you can hold the light button down and that should turn on your lights there it is so there's your light so you should be able to see your see the light and the rear lights so there you have it I hope you found this video helpful.